Okay, so welcome to this next um, example. Uh, so here we're going to try to take tree diagrams and conditional probability and put them together to try to figure out um, some nice things. So uh, let's do this. So what we're going to start off with is an example that I'm pretty sure most of us have either gone through or will go through sometime in our life. And that's basically um, taking exams in a class. Uh, so say there's only two more exams left in some class um, and you need to pass both the exams in order to pass the class. Uh, this has happened to me multiple times uh, and I'm sure it's happened to all of you um, at least once. Uh, maybe not all, but a good chunk of you. Um, and so um, here we're going to see where kind of conditional probability shines. Um, and so, okay, so there's two exams. We're going to say that in the first exam, you, you're fairly confident. You're, you're like, you know, I got this. Uh, you're like, I'm pretty sure I have a 95% chance of passing the first exam. So, okay, that's cool. Now, the second exam, it's a little further out. So you're a little less sure, right? So it's going to be dependent on the first exam. If you pass the first exam, that means you know all that information. You can just study on the second exam, which means you're probably also going to do well. So if you pass the first exam, then you know that you have a 90% chance of, chance of passing the second exam. Now, the thing is, if you fail the first exam, right? You, well, now you have to go back and restudy that first exam stuff, which means you're going to have less time to study on the second exam, which means everything just goes crazy and everything's downhill, right? So your chances are going to go down. So your chance, if you fail the second, first exam, your chances will go down to 75% to pass the second exam. And the question we're basically asking in this example is what is the chance you will pass the class? So let's make um, a tree diagram first and kind of see what this uh, does. So I'll try to keep this here. I think I can do both in one screen. We will find out how much room do I have? Yeah, we'll do here, there. Um, okay, so we'll do this. So we'll start off here. So we have a 95. So first we want to see pass exam, pass exam one and fail exam one. Right. So here we kind of talked about this has a 95% chance of happening. And then this one has a 0.05% chance of happening. Um, and then in this tree diagram, I'm going to do things a little differently. Uh, because it turns out that the next part um, basically has, I'm basically going to mush the information together. Uh, so I'm going to just have pass exam two and fail exam two. So basically, instead of doing the same thing twice, like writing the same thing twice, I'm just going to write it once and draw multiple edges. So I can either pass, so I can go this way or I can go this way. And here the key part is really going to be how I label these edges. So if I pass exam one, then the chance I will pass exam two, we said is 90%. So this edge should be labeled 0 0.9. And that means this last one should be 0 0.1 here. Um, okay, so if I fail exam one, what we said is my chance will go down to 75%. So this one should be 0 0.75 and this one should be 0 0.25. Notice how at any point, all the probabilities add up to one, right? So here, everything adds up to one in these two directions. These two add up to one. These two add up to one, um, etc. cetera. Um, and so what we have is um, we basically have two options for this one, right? So if I pass, pass, uh, then this is a 0 0.95. I should have done this a little to the left. So I'm actually going to move everything over. There we go. I need, I need like a little more room to write. Uh, 0 0.95 times, oops, not red, uh, times 0 0.9. And this is 0 0.855. Uh, if I then go, so this was this path. One, so pass, pass. If I instead go fail, pass, so fail, pass, that would get me fail, pass, right? So here I get 0 0.05 because that's the first thing I kind of checked here on the left-hand side. Um, that should not be an F. This should be a P. 
There we go. Uh, and then the second one, I go through the 0 0.75, right? So I'm basically going through my path and seeing what numbers I hit. So here I get 0 0.75. Um, and so here I end up with 0 0.0375. So I can do the same thing for these other ones. I can pass the first one and fail the second one. Um, and that would give me 0 0.95 times 0 0.1 right, 0 0.95 in the left and then 0 0.1 for going down the bottom one. And so we get 0 0.095. And then if I fail both, um, I'll get a 0 0.05 times 0 0.25, right, 0 0.25. Uh, and then here I end up with 0 0.0125. So I'm able to write down all of the probabilities in this way. So what are our chances of passing? Well, it, we said that the chance of passing is if I pass both exams. So in other words, my chances of passing um, is given by this. So I have an 85.5% chance. Um, I'll write this in green. 85.5% um, chance. Okay, but we can ask other questions, right? We said, what's the conditional probability? How do we see this in conditional probabilistic ways? Um, and here I'm going to move this down so I can see the next one as I'm doing this. So let's grab all of this and let's bring this down. Oh, it brought this thing, but whatever. Whoop, no, go down. There we go. Uh, and so it's go we're going to be asking the next question, which is what are your chances of passing at least one exam? Um, okay, so what are the chances of passing at least one exam? So in this case, Again, this becomes easier to see. Um, so you can kind of think of, so actually, let me let me go back for a second because uh, we didn't really talk about um, where these probabilities are coming from, right? So how do, like, how am I generating these multiplication tables? Uh, and yeah, I guess I should go over that. Uh, so this video might be a little longer, actually. So let me let me um, go over that because I think this is a little confusing, um, and I didn't really talk about that. So where are these numbers coming from? So basically, what's happening is let's look at this first one in particular, uh, PP. Um, and so this first number is basically the probability that we pass the exam, pass exam one, right? And then what we want to do is we want to multiply by the second edge here. Now, what's the second edge? The second edge is not pass exam two because the chance of passing exam two is dependent on pass exam one. So in other words, this is actually giving us to pass exam one, pass exam two, given that we pass exam one. So this one in this case is 0.95 and this one is 0 0.9. And what this gives us is the probability to pass exam one and pass exam two, right? Which is what we were trying to calculate. And so this is really where this, this, um, this number here is coming from, why we're multiplying these. Um, and I should have gone over that before, I'm sorry, um, but hopefully that kind of helps understand things a little more. Uh, so in essence, if I'm doing fail, fail, I'm first saying what's the probability that I fail exam one, and then what's the probability that I fail exam two given that I fail exam one. And this is where I'm really, why I'm talking about conditional probability for this one um, example. Um, okay, so, Let's look at like two more questions. Um, yeah, so let's look at two more questions. Uh, and the first one is, what's the probability of passing at least one exam, right? Uh, so in this case, it's not too difficult, right? So uh, what we're doing is we wanna say, what's the probability of pass one and pass two, plus the probability that we pass one one and fail two plus the probability that we pass two and fail one, right? So this, again, we're going to break this down into the different parts. So this is pass one times 
the probability that we do pass two given pass one plus the probability that we pass that we fail two given that we pass the first one plus the probability that we fail the first one oh no sorry pass the second one uh, oh I'm forgetting to multiply here ah this should have a times pass one I was wondering what was wrong. Plus the probability that we'd fail the first one times the probability that we pass the second one given that we fail the first one. And so these we've already calculated above, right? So this is equal to 0 0.855 plus 0 0.095 plus 0 0.0375. Uh, and so adding these up together, we end up with 0 0.9875. So you get a 98.75% chance of passing. Um, and lucky for you, your professor said uh, that if you pass one exam, you pass the class and you're done. Yay! So you ended up passing the class. Um, but notice how this is slightly different than the question of what about passing exactly one exam? So if we pass exactly one exam, what we're basically saying is we don't have this first option. Um, and so it's basically like just looking at this portion here. So we basically have, so for this is question one, question two, one, uh, two. So question two basically ends up with 0 0.095 for the first one, and then 0 0.0375 for the second one. Um, and so here we end up with 0 0.13. So we have a 13.25% chance of passing exactly um, one exam. Um, and how long has it been? This has been sufficiently long. So I'm going to stop here. The next video will be a lot shorter, um, but we'll, we'll cut into it a little more. Um, so yeah. Uh, and I might come back and explain this a little more in depth um, for the conditional probability. So, uh, thanks for joining. Uh, I'll see you in the next video.